If you're just getting into productivity, it can feel overwhelming. There's so many tools and frameworks and apps and gurus to learn from, it's hard to know where to start. This is where the Digital Productivity Coach comes in. In this video, I wanna show you how it works. Hi, I'm James, and this is Tashin. We're both huge productivity nerds, and we built the Digital Productivity Coach. Our friends and colleagues kept asking us for productivity advice, and while we're happy to help, setting up one-on-ones and taking the time doesn't scale very well. We searched for a single, easy-to-use resource that we could just point them to, but we couldn't find one. Instead of giving up, we made our own, the Digital Productivity Coach. I believe that productivity is a super skill, something that helps you in all areas of your life. With some pretty basic techniques, you can stay on top of your tasks, never forget where you put your notes, and get things done more easily. If you're an absolute beginner with digital productivity, the coach has you covered. And if you already know some productivity techniques, the coach will figure out where you're at and give you an appropriate skill to learn. Let me show you how it works. So when you first purchase the digital productivity coach, you'll be directed to a website that looks like this. Make sure to bookmark this page so that you can access it easily in the future. The coach kind of works like one of those old school choose your own adventure books, but hopefully with fewer monsters and more productivity. There are four main modules and depending on your current skill level, the coach will place you in the appropriate module. To use the coach, scroll down until the part that says start here and click there. This page gives an overview of how to use this document, or if you prefer, you can just follow along with this video. If you're brand new, start with digital fluency. The digital fluency module covers tools, techniques, and other skills that we consider essential. You may already be familiar with a computer, but you might not be familiar with some of these applications. So I encourage you to go through this module thoroughly. Here you can see a chart of the topics that will be covered. If you continue to scroll down, there's a section here that says, let's begin. What you're going to do is take a look at each of these questions and click on the answer. This first one says, can you type without looking at your keyboard? And for me, I can, so I would click on, yes, I type pretty fast. And when you click on it, the next question gets highlighted, or you'll be taken to the appropriate module. Next, do you use shortcuts on a daily basis? Uh, yes, I do use keyboard shortcuts, so we'll click on that. Next is, do you use a task manager app like Todoist, Things, or Wonderlist? I'm gonna pretend like I'm a brand new user and I've never used a to-do application. So I'll say, no, I've never used one. And you can see this brings me to the page called Install a Task Manager. Here on this page, you'll see sort of where you are in the flow and you'll get recommendations on how to install a to-do manager and how to use one. Take a look at this actions section. Just reading about these things doesn't matter if you don't take any action. Make sure to take these action steps and practice until you feel comfortable. If you keep using the digital productivity coach for a while, you'll accumulate a lot of skills, but maybe you wanna come back and tackle a new skill. How do I do that? Open up the digital productivity coach, click on start here, and scroll down to the part where it says, I've mastered digital fluency and want to skip ahead. If you've already mastered digital fluency, you could skip ahead to one of these advanced modules. Let's jump to task management. And from here, there's another set of questions that will guide you to an appropriate skill. If you ever want to skip the questions and just jump directly to a skill, scroll down past the questions, and you'll see a list of all the action pages here. If you want a way to keep track of your progress as you progress through the different skills, we have a progress tracker available for you to use. From the start page, click start here, then scroll down until you see this section called Tracking Your Progress. Here we have a progress tracker template that's native to Notion or to Todoist. If you're using Notion, click on this, bring your mouse to this upper right corner, and there should be a button that says Duplicate. From there, you can duplicate this template as a copy in your own Notion. As you master each of the techniques in the Digital Productivity Coach, you can check off boxes like this. If you don't want to use Notion, you could print out this page, or there's a Todoist template available as well. If you're interested in the Digital Productivity Coach, there's a link in the description below. And as a thank you to all of my subscribers, there's also a 10% off coupon. If you already have the Digital Productivity Coach, thank you. I hope you find it useful. If you ever have any feedback, questions, or sections you'd like added, let us know. We're always looking to improve the coach, and you'll get any future updates free of charge. Thanks for watching. See you next time.